Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nate, aka Nate Pie, and I'm a reseller. So, the thumbnail was not a lie. I bought half of the state that you're going to see. This is gonna be part one. There's gonna be several parts to this. I'm gonna show you some jewelry that I got. Some of this stuff is gonna go in my eBay store. Some of it's gonna go in my auction Wednesday. Um, actually, this coming Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Back row bidder, Chuck and his wife, Marcy. So make sure you're there. There's gonna be free giveaways, $10 off your shipping towards the um, next week. And then um, who knows what else we'll give away. We always give away a couple of items. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're there. It's gonna be a lot of fun, 9 p.m. Eastern, Wednesday. This auction, I spent the most, I spent in a long time at any auction. I almost had a nipple come out. Uh-oh. But um, it was $294. Every lot that I got was between $2 and $6. The majority of this auction that I got was between the two to four dollar range in lots, and there was a few, like I said, were up to six dollars. So I scored huge. Luckily, Tessa helped me out. It took us four hours, four, to get through sorting through all this. The first one I got was these sock monkeys. They're brightly colored, really cute. There's no tags on these, but they have a pink little heart stitched on them. Thought they were really cute. I'm gonna sell these on my auction. The next lot I got was four dollars. Longer burger basket. I'll be able to make my money easily back on this. It's 1995 vintage um, Christmas edition. I think this one is cranberry basket, but it's in good shape. There is some writing down here. So the next lots. These are several different lots in this trash can. I'm about to show you. And the reason I um, have a trash can. I bought it so they could put the jewelry into the trash can. But it was clean and new. But the jewelry in here weighs 10 and a half pounds. And all the lots were between $2 and I think the most was $6 in here. So I could not pass this up. So we'll go through some of the jewelry now. First up is the bracelet. It's Bella Perlini. It is a very, as I almost drop it, it's in the original case. Case has seen some better days, but is it, it is a very beautiful br bracelet, as you can see. So this, I'm actually gonna put in my auction. So if you're watching this and you love jewelry, all the jewelry is gonna go onto the auction because I don't wanna mess with it on eBay. So remember that, be there at 9 p.m. Wednesday night. The next lot that I got are some, I don't know if these, are these not pins, but brooches, brooches? I can't speak right, so I'll just deal with it. You can correct me in the chat. But you got a seahorse. This is an owl. You can put that onto a necklace, a little pendant. You got a beautiful purple flower. Butterfly. If you're wanting to make a ugly Christmas sweater, this pin would go perfect on there. You got, this is a 2006 Avon brooch. I hope I'm saying that. If I'm not, I don't really care. In this lot of jewelry, there's this gold tone necklace, a gold chain with an apple pendant. This is like a, I don't know if this is like a stone or just very thick glass, a very thick silver tone bracelet. This is magnetic purplish necklace, gold tone bracelet. She had a lot of turquoise jewelry and then a cute little pendant bracelet, another bracelet. There are so many bracelets, necklaces, everything. If you want to see it all, come to the auction Wednesday at 9 p.m. And not just this auction, future, all the future auctions every week at 9 p.m. on Wednesdays because jewelry is going to be sold for a while because there are so many pieces. There's over, probably got over 200 pieces of jewelry easily. And then this brooch I thought was awesome because look, it's a pocket watch. It doesn't tick, so it needs batteries. There's no name on this one, but I just thought it was a cool piece. This next lot I'm going to sell together. It's a lot of two. It's a Mickey Mouse, gold, and then another Mickey Mouse, the wizard, the little crystal ball. And then if you are religious, we have Noah's Ark brooch. And you got a moon, a cute little flower piece. One that says believe, and then a little flower bouquet or basket of flowers. Like I said, there is a ton 
of jewelry in this. There's also, um, I'm going to do a whole video on just the purses alone. There's some designer purses in there. One of them's brand new, so I'm pretty excited about that. I got a whole bag, shout Tommy, of shoes. I'm really going to have to look those up because I don't sell shoes. But the ones that I was able to salvage, they're all in good shape. Clean them up. The next item I got was a huge lot of decorations. But look at this tin bear. It's a candle holder. Stars where the light comes through. The back opens. The candle's never been used. But look at this cute little frog. Um, I think it's like made out of like a wood. I don't know if it's like fake wood or what. But the body's like a bean bag. I thought that was a really cute piece. And then another little frog. Another item that I got in the vast boxes that were around. This came in a huge lot, another $2 lot. It's, um, or I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. It's from Japan, but it's um, Otaguri, something like that. But this turkey napkin holder, I saw, I saw these go online for around $14 or so. $2 into the entire lot. I also was able to get a couple of vintage salt and pepper shakers. They're birds. One's missing the stopper. I thought these were cute um, pieces for any bird lovers out there. So I bought all their prints except for one lot because it went to $8 and my most was six. The rest of these lots of prints, like wall hangings, um, artwork, all, all that shit was literally two to four dollars per lot. So I could not pass it up. And I got this. It's Picasso's War and Peace, a re basically it's a reprint or a print of it. It's from Pier One Imports. And I've not I've not seen these. Like I found them on Etsy and stuff, and people were selling them for I think it was like $150 to $300 or something like that. So I'm gonna get the sticker residue off, be very careful with it, continue to do my research. But this potentially could pay for half my auction which is badass. Don't forget to check out part two of this auction haul because it is a lot. It's going to be exhausting. We're going to get through it together. And always remember, no matter what you go through in life, that you can always subscribe.